Well, we want to put the focus now on something really important for anyone dealing with mental health issues. There's a new three-digit number for people to call or text if they're experiencing a mental health crisis. 988 is the new National Suicide and Crisis Hotline. Dr. Laura Saunders from the Institute of Living is here now to tell us how it can be helpful for people who need it during an emergency. Dr. Saunders, thanks so much for joining us. And I feel like I've heard a lot of buzz of this on social media lately, which is a good thing. And this is really something, though, that's been in the works for quite a while now. Yes. Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Serious topic alert. <clears throat> we are talking about a new suicide hotline, National Suicide Prevention. Uh, they're actually calling it a lifeline number. And I like that because we are trying to allow people to feel connected. This has been uh, on the rollout for many years. There's a lot of issues around funding and staffing, uh, which still may be unfolding over time. Um, what we know is that uh, suicide is the second leading cause of death between 15 and 19 year olds, right? Wow. That's a very sad and sobering statistic. About 20% of teens experience depression um, before they reach adulthood. Um, so, and only 30% of uh, depressed teens are being treated. So this is a this is a crisis. I think it became much worse during COVID. I'm hoping as we're coming out of this, the, the only good thing that COVID has done for us mm -hmm. is give us a little bit more of a spotlight on mental health and yeah. how important mental health is for physical health. But let's talk about 988. Yeah, so it, this is the idea is that it's simple to remember. We always had a hotline, but I guess if you were in a crisis, would you be able to Google 1-800, whatever? I mean, this is just something to remember and not call 911 so often because they're not maybe trained to handle it. Right, so that's part of the initiative behind this. Um, so 988 is an easy to remember number. I, I mean, I do this work and I couldn't have to told you the, the national uh, suicide hotline number. So... Um, 988 is easy. It's similar to 911. And what they're trying to do is, you know, avoid people, unless it's a true and dire emergency, calling 911, because a lot of, of police and, and fire officials are not equipped to manage mental health crises. Um, so it's, it's easier to remember. It's <clears throat> so that you get a trained professional on the other end. Um, and it's ultimately, one of the goals is to reduce the kinds of confrontations with between law enforcement um, and people in very severe mental health crises. So we're trying to have a really strong effort to get people to know more about 988. So if somebody does call it, um, what's it like? Like who is on the other end? So I actually thought about calling it yesterday as a test, but I just decided against that. Um, but it is a trained mental health professional. And it's and the, the goal is to have it be more local in the same way that when you call 911, you're not you're you're not calling a national place, you're calling a local place. So the goal is for it to be local, local mental health agencies. Mm. Um, but they have national centers as backups uh, based on staffing. Um, the other thing to consider is that in in a crisis, what people used to use is 211, right? That's info line 211. And 211 really provided support around emergency mobile crisis. 211 is still available, um, but 988 is meant to be kind of like a suicide prevention lifeline, someone you can talk to if you are feeling desperate or feeling suicidal. And it may not be, I guess, the person who is feeling suicidal it's going to call but mm -hmm. your loved one could call this and and what's going to happen I and mean, you do this for a living does that phone call really become a lifeline can you how do you transform someone from feeling or possibly acting on a suicide impulse to okay i'm okay now i'm glad i called this number so you realize that that when you actually make that phone call that that gives you a point of pause, right? And what we're trying to do in a lot of these situations is reduce access to lethal means and give people a point of connection to get them out of their own emotional pain and have someone else to talk to. So someone else to, for the individual to say, I'm very suicidal, I have nothing to live for and have someone else outside of them say, I hear you, I validate you, 
Let's look at some, you know, resources to get you some help. So it gives you that pause button. And sometimes that pause button can be a lifesaver, whether it's the, the parent or the, you know, a, a loved one calling or the individual calling themselves. Yeah, I mean, really important. I think of like, uh, I know we're going to run out of time. We want people to know about this, but I mean, I think it's like where they have the phone booth on the bridge, hoping that someone will pick that up if they see someone and you'd get it right then. So the deal is 988. Just try and remember that 988. And wherever you are, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there's someone who could help you. It's so important. All right. Thank you so much. Really, really useful information. Thanks, Dr. Saunders. Take care. All right. There you go. 988. Call or text. We know a lot of times young people yes. would prefer to just text. They communicate better that way. Yeah. So, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Thank mm -hmm. you so much.